work and you can simplify a motor support diffuser right down to a bluff body with a diffuser underneath it. And when you do, you get a number of different, you can, you get to see there are a number of different flow types. So the first flow type is you have your bluff body with a diffuser. It's a reasonable height away from the ground and it rolls up two quite powerful vortices underneath it that then uh, create some slightly unusual flow patterns. The flow patterns, if you were to do a flow visualization of the flow patterns on the diffusing surface, the slope surface, you would get patterns a bit like this. So you can see the central flow is going straight back. There is no separation bubble or anything like that. And you can see the impact of the two vortices outboard, either to a greater or to a lesser extent. Then the next phase, if you keep coming down with your body, you get a little bit of a local separation bubble near the middle of your body. Um, the flow becomes asymmetric, but it's still uh, after the separation bubble, it reattaches and it remains attached. And this is an area of high downforce increase. And then, add, and there's another another uh, flow. That you can see that some of the flow is getting quite sideways in the middle of the diffuser. It almost looks like it stopped, but it's flowing sideways, so it's not actually stopped. And then, at a certain point, one of the two vortices begins to burst, and then you get a completely asymmetric flow, even though you've got a roughly symmetrical body. And this is an area where you get a significant reduction in downforce. And here's one that shows very definitely asymmetric flow. And if you are to plot the performance of this diffuser as you reduce the ride height, so on the right hand side, you've got very high ride height, the, the numbers are in millimeters, but you can also think of it as a height ratio. You get an area, the first area of flow is symmetric and attached and the downforce is increasing as you come down. Then, then you get into this uh, area where you're still symmetric, but with a separation bubble and you're, you, you are at a peak of performance. And then as soon as you go to the asymmetric flow where one of your two vortices bursts, you get a, a dramatic reduction in downforce, which if you keep going, you will eventually get the whole floor to store. 